we are doing an unboxing of a gaming mouse and it's a wireless one normally I use a wired one but we are going to be doing a review and test of this now not the box what's inside the box hopefully anyway <laughs> why it needs tearing off properly no more this little baby here and it does look a bit battered actually looking at that that looks a bit battered but Nicely presented, in my opinion, ultra accurate wireless RGB MMO gaming mouse with 16,000 DPI. It's a bit messy here. So, hopefully, 16,000 DPI should be nice and uh, accurate. 10 meter transmission. Well, hopefully, we'd have to go that far away from it. This is the V8 Pro. All right, let's have a quick look. Hey, game speed. Yeah, so it's sold by a company called Game Speed, or that's a manufacturer, I think. Looking at that, like I said, it's a bit battered the box, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, laser engine, laser engine, that's what it says up there. Uh, 16 buttons, 10 meter transmission, which we already done. Two modes, I'll take it as RGB, I'm not sure. Avago, I think that says Avago, a powerful driver, and DPI, yeah, 16,000. 16,000 should be. Uh, very good. So uh, let's get one done. Luckily, I've got my knife very handy. Get it out of the box. I don't want to come out. Oh, there it goes. Anything else in there? Nothing else in there. It's a bit sticky. So, what we have. Oh, that's a nice bit of beading. So, yeah, we have a nice bit of beading. So, USB 2. That looks like a Type C connection for the mouse. I'll take it for charging it up. Yeah really nice I'm well, assuming that's what it's for that's quite a long leg by looking at that I reckon that's a couple of meters long at least we'll uh, have a measure up in a bit so a special gift for you thank you very much <laughs> driver software for you oh, is that a special gift I don't know <laughs> uh, obviously instructions let's say that's in here let's get out and have a quick look that some sort of mat feels like a mat oh what's this oh it's got some stickers I've no idea what they're for uh, we'll have a look at some point like I say I've no idea this feels like a CD you know them little tiny CDs oh yeah it is look one of them little baby ones uh, I am probably not going to be using this so it's got a website here. So I'll probably go to the website and download drivers for it. Or it probably plug and play anyway. Because I haven't got a CD uh, drive installed. I've got external ones, but I'll probably just download the drivers. So we'll say Ultra Accurate Wireless RGB MMO. What's the MMO stand for? Anyone? Anyone? Gaming mouse with 16,000. Yeah, 16,000 DPI. A V8 Pro. That's what it says. And loads of instructions, all in different languages, I would have thought. Yes. Looking at that, quite a few different uh, languages there. So, product review, it's an English language is at the front. Installation, yeah, I will read all that later. So, get them bits out of the way. And like I said, I'll have a measure up. Look at that state it's made. <laughs> I will have a measure up. But that's a nice bit of beading. Yeah, that doesn't feel like that's going to break. With a uh, gold plated connections for a uh, better transfer. Let's have a look at this baby. Right, is it just a pull off? Looking at it, I would say yes, but oh, yeah, it is. Is it stuck? Oh, it is. Yeah, got that right. Game speed. Dun dun dun. Move that away. So, yeah, there's loads of little buttons on the side, so you can probably pre program it. Is it good for my hand? I have quite big hands by the way, so let's compare it with this little baby here, so it's about the same size. Actually it lifts up further, which I quite like actually. This does tend to be a bit low. Yeah, that fits my hand really nice. Yeah. 
that will be for your DPI's uh, as you can see it's a similar sort of setup but it's got the lighting on the side has it got power? right how do I turn it on? what's this? profile switch, it's got profile switch on off it says on off, alright oh, so you've got two on offs you got one without a light, looking at that, I'm guessing, and one with the light. So let's try it without a light first, see if it's got power. Oh yeah, it's got power. So that'd be for your DPI's, or dots per inch, I think, I'm guessing. We will find out, I'm going to have to uh, read up on it. And then that one, for the RGB. Uh, yeah, baby, I do like RGB. You know I'm a fan of RGB. I like RGB. So, just see what it does. And that's it. <laughs> that just changes colour. Right, not sure how that's work, working or not working. Actually, well, I'm just feeling it. It's got like a little grippy sort of feel to it, which is, again, very nice. Not sure what that does, but we'll find out when I've read it. Look at all them buttons. Look at that. So it's got 12 buttons on the side. So I would admit, I think they're programmable ones. Uh, that might be a bit awkward for me uh, because yeah, I'm not very good at working out what button I'm pressing at most of, at the best of times. But we will test it. So first impression, so far it feels quite nice actually. It's got a nice slide to it. Doesn't feel as though it's going to get stuck. Feels nice and clicky. It's got a nice little height to it as well, which I like, especially in my big hands. Yeah. First impressions, yeah, very nice. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to charge her up and read the instructions and give her a test. So I better turn her off. Oh, we've got some light in there. Hang on, hang on, before we go. I didn't notice that. There's light in that front as well. And there's your charging port. Unusual to have such a long lead when you're charging something up, but there you go. They gave you a nice long lead. So turn it off. Right, I am going to go and charge it up and uh, read the instructions. Right, I've had to read the instructions and uh, I was quite surprised. I'm going to show you what I'm on about right now. So this is your software, yes? The CD, or, yeah it's a CD, as far as I know. I don't think it's a DVD, it's a CD. So you can install from that. I did try the website, but I didn't have a lot of luck on the website. It didn't seem to want to work. Whether it was down at the time, I don't know. But I couldn't use the website. And this says driver software for you. I think, driver software? Where? 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 And it's here. It is a, that is it there. This baby here. I've never seen one like this before. Yeah, this is it. That is a USB. And I'm going to prove the point right now. I am going to actually show you what I'm on about. Right, move them bits out of the way. My keyboard has USB on the side. See that? See that? Plug that in. And the software uploads. Yeah. So it has two partitions. One is empty, as you can see. I'm not sure how big it is. Let's have a look. Properties, properties. 57.9 gigabytes. It's not massive, and that's on one partition. That, I thought that was pretty good. Uh, so I'll close that one. And then here's the software. See how big this is. 1.59 megabits. So yeah, that is really clever. I'm quite impressed with that. So there's your software. Uh, uh, game speed or ga GAM speed. I think that's how it's... Well, I think they're trying to say game speed. So that's what I'm going to call it anyway. So there is your software. So yeah, it surprised me as well. I thought, wow, that is impressive. I know you can get little hard, you know, USB sticks, but I've never seen one like that before. So yeah, I was quite impressed. Put that mouse back. Not, it's not plugged in yet. I'm going to set the software up first. Right, there is two ways of connecting this to your computer. The one is to use the long lead that comes with it, this USB. You can use that but you have to turn the mouse into the off position for it to work. 
that is one way of doing it, and obviously it will not use your battery. So you have two op two options. You know, especially if your battery goes flat, if your battery goes flat, you can just switch over to the USB. We're going to use the wireless, which is used in the dongle. I'm going to plug that into my uh, computer. So I've got to turn this on first. So we're going to use the uh, lighting because we like the lighting. So I've turned it on. I'm going to plug this in. It may take a few seconds for it to connect. And you should be able to use the mail straight away, even though you haven't started up the software, which I haven't. So I'm going to start up the software right now. And there it is. If you haven't got it turned on or you haven't plugged in your USB to it, the software will not start up neither. But as you can see, it started up OK. So first of all, we're going to have a look at the lighting. So you have a range of colours and options to do. It's on neon. I'm going to do respiration is that and choose the color I'm going to try red so that's red you might not be able to see it properly let me turn the lights off you probably see it a bit better now so yeah so that's red I'm going to use my other mouse to uh, change the colors on it purple so orangey color yellow green I quite like the green actually green looks really nice blue and then you can do it over here as well same sort of thing and you obviously you can select your own colors and you can also adjust your speed so I'm assuming that's maximum speed actually it looks like it's off it's gone to sleep wakey wakey because I'm not using it so it times itself out after a little while so we're going to change that to neon which is all the random colors and there's no speed adjustment looking at that so that's that so this is the main page this is where you put all your macros in which is all these bits on the side and your ones up there and all sorts this here this little thing here this is to set your dpi so it's on on one at the moment which is i believe the lowest number let's see if i can find it it's in there somewhere oh there it is. So it's that is one. So off is one. So you got that is at 1,000 DPI. Press up 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, and 16,000. So it goes right up 16,000. I've got it set on one because you know it's quite fast. Obviously you can mess about and get it just tuned just right for you, especially if you're a game with someone like that, and you want to adjust your sensitivity your scrolling speed, you need double click speed, it's all the settings that you should need to do this. So if I put it on like 16,000, that is going to be super fast. In fact, it's so bloody fast, I can't even see where it is. So that's quite scary. But if it's too fast, just slow it down. So at the moment, I've got to set like that. I probably want it a little bit slower. Probably something like that for me, me personally. Maybe a bit more. There, yeah, about there. That feels good to me. So that's probably where I want it. Uh, but if I need to speed up, I can just press that. So I've got it set on 2000. 2000 DPI. So that's about right for me. So like I said, there's all your macros. And you can edit all this. And I'm going to quickly show you how to do it. It should be quite easy. I did read something about it. So click on new macro and I'm going to name it back button or backspace because that's what I'm going to be doing, backspace. So that's backspace, Just press OK. And the way you do it is you press start for recording, choose what keys you want to do and in this case I'm only doing that one. So you press start, so press that once and press stop and that is finished recording. And you can change these numbers here cycle times so I'm just going to leave it like that for now so that is done and if you want to change anything else say like these numbers here even if you're not a gamer this can be really useful and I'm going to give you an example right now say for instance I want number one to be a copy button and number two to be a paste button it should be quite easy so basically you do exactly the same thing so you do a new macro and we're going to call this copy button copy 
press OK. Press Start for recording. And this is two buttons, so it's Control and C. Stop recording. And that is done. And save it. And then we're going to do the Paste button. Type in Paste. Like so. OK it. And start recording. And it, Control and V. And stop recording. And save it. So you've saved three macros. Well, I have anyway. So you go back to main and you go down to, look for your numbers on here, because you know what these numbers are. This one's called number 13. So number 13 is this one here, which they call the fire key. So click on that. And we want macro. And we want backspace. So press OK. So that is done. So that button there is now the uh, back button. So number one. I want as a macro as well. Click on there, and I'm going to call that copy, that one there. And number two, macro, paste. And that is done. That's all you need to do. So just to prove that it works, uh, let me see how I can prove it. <laughs> so I'm going to copy some text from Amazon. So this baby here, so copy, which is number one, and uh, close that down. Open up the notepad and paste it, which is number two. And there you go. And the back button, which is this baby here, if I press that, it back, backs it. It deletes it. Going back. See, it's the back button. See that? Good. So that's it. So number one, Number one is copy. Number two, I've set up for paste. And this one on top, which is number 13, is the back button. Oops. So that's just one way you can use it. You can just highlight it and go like that as well. Job done. Yeah. So that is how you do your macros. Don't save. Chuck that in the bin. It's gone. Don't need it no more. So that is basically how you use the software. And you can fine tune just about anything on here. So I just wanted to quickly show you how that worked. One more thing I just wanted to show you. You can import and export your profile. So you can save your profiles for another computer if you want to transfer them over to another computer without putting all the stuff in again. You can uh, import and export, which I thought was a really good idea, especially for people like gamers and that. So uh, with that, is it worth the money? Yes, for the amount of money you're paying, I think it's 43, 44 pound, I think I've paid. For 43, 44 pound, I think it's well worth the money. It's well made. It comes with some nice little software with it. It comes with two options for connections, either using the uh, USB or the USB lead. I think, yeah, it's very good. Definitely gets my thumbs up. And if this video gets your thumbs up, give me the thumbs up. If it didn't, Give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.